Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning and welcome to this morning's Products in Focus. So it looks to be that the Greek banks are going to be opening up for the uh, first, day, first day in three weeks today. I'll be there still be capital controls put in place. 460 euros, I believe, or 420 euros a week can be withdrawn. Uh, but safe deposit boxes can be uh, opened up, no problem at all. But there's still um, limits in place and they're trying to get that sorted as soon as possible. Now it's just up to, uh, to Greece and Germany and the rest of the Eurozone partners to um, get everything sorted out as soon as possible and to move on. And um, certainly, uh, kind of eyes are uh, turning back again to uh, the US. Uh, their recent, recent macro data has been pretty decent. Uh, US interest rates, UK interest rates, and um, even China itself has been doing okay the last couple of days. Nothing absolutely spectacular, but enough anyway, just to keep things struggling along. So US 30 just uh, struggling to break actually above potential resistance at 18,112. Um, the MACD's crossing the zero line. That should be adding a little bit of extra bullish momentum, but we're not, we're not kind of smashing through there with any specific rigor this morning. And even if we did, 18,284 would be the next potential uh, resistance level to look out for. So moving on to the UK 100, um, we're actually just keeping our head above 6772, which is a potential uh, support level in play. Uh, we're also trading just below that 55 period SMA, um, with the other technical indicators actually relatively neutral. So there could be further room for maneuvers in the US begin to uh, to move up higher uh, this morning, which is uh, it's uh, been very, very slow to do. Um, moving on to uh, Japan 225, uh, you'll be able to see there that there's been a, a significant um, push up to the uh, up higher. Uh, we're getting quite close now to 20,868. Dollar yen's had a great, um, great last couple of sessions. The dollar has basically really kind of taken off um, the last couple of sessions, in fact, but. Uh, 124 spot 12 is is decent for dollar yen, and that is helping to push Japan 225 up towards its potential resistance level there at 20,868. So moving on to dollar yen, we're on multi week high at the moment. Um, 124.42 still a potential resistance it needs to break through, so it's it's just stopping just shy of that. Other technicals are still quite neutral as well. Um, we do have a raft of Chinese of the Japanese data due over the next couple of days, I believe. Um, I might actually have to turn off my calendar, um, but that's where we stand with dollar yen. And uh, if we have a look there at West Texas crude, grinding a little bit lower. We were off the session lows there on Friday. It's not doing a huge amount today. We're still waiting to see what's happening with the Iranian deal and Iranian sanctions here, but there is certainly longer term pressure now on West Texas crude with uh, 4940 being the potential support level to watch out for. I guess the big story that everybody's talking about this morning has been gold. Uh, and gold, um, this, this has been a very, very, very crazy market today. As you can see, it was down 4% at one point, uh, all the way down at uh, 10.73. A uh, huge technical break that was a uh, future being traded on the Chinese market. Just to put this into context, normally was about 30,000 contracts traded a day uh, over in China. There was 900,000 contracts changing hands there um, overnight. Now if we look at this in a shorter kind of time frame, you can just see the incredible volatility that there's been. Um, and um, a huge number of, uh, of traders would have been on the wrong side of that move because uh, typically people have been buying up a lot of gold, but uh, inflation right across the globe has been notoriously low, so no need to hedge against that. It has been in the downtrend for some time, um, and it'll be interesting to see how the performance of gold continues throughout the day, especially after this huge technical move. Um, that's a very uncharacteristic, a huge candle. Well, and you, can, and you can notice that every so often gold does go through this uh, this type of behaviour where it has a ridiculous, ridiculous kind of freak style days, and it's done it. It's done it here back in uh, the first of December, 2014, uh, and that's probably been the last one that I, from recent memory that's been as big as what we've had there today. Um, but certainly, that's uh, probably caught a lot of traders uh, off guard this morning. Uh, but we're still now trading below 11:37. Uh, we actually need to have a look at the longer term move now. Uh, to find out where that next potential support actually is. Uh, and we have to probably go well below there. You're probably looking, oh, we're not that, not that far away from there just now, but around about uh, 1,046 could be the next potential uh, support level. And uh, that's where we stand just now. So where this ends today, uh, we'll give you an idea of where, about where it might go in the future. 
because I wouldn't be massively surprised if it even ends up being positive by the end of the day, uh, the craziness of some of these markets. So moving on to Euro USD, um, drifting lower again. Uh, 1.0786 is the potential support. Longer term potential support probably lies at the tips of these candles. So let's just say 105.21. Matter of fact, I'm going to stake that level on there for now. Uh, just because it probably will become a little bit more important as time goes on. And uh, what we're going to do is actually clean up my chart here a little bit. I've got a fair number of other historical previous highs and lows on there. And uh, we're really wanting to concentrate on what's what's been happening more recently. Because it might be a little while before we get up to that next one. So that's currently where we stand with uh, with your dollar. And we finish up with GBP USD. Um, you can see there that um, we've been bouncing around. Now that we've broken above 1.56, um, that seems to be a level that uh, GBP USD seems to be quite happy to oscillate around. Um, the other technicals are, 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 are flattening out there slightly. Um, should we get any sort of bounce? Obviously, UK interest rates are in focus now as well. US interest rates are in focus, so they're kind of jamming heads a little bit there together at the moment. But one spot 57.43 is the next potential resistance on there. Uh, and uh, the sterling is certainly making some decent moves against other um, against other FX pairs. Anyway, this is going to be a bit of an idea. So economic data wise, not a huge amount due today, not a huge amount due tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday, you've got the Bank of England NPC minutes. That'll be good for cable traders, existing home sales, and weekly petroleum sales. So as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights popular going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.